Welcome everyone to the 2018 tour of the Rebel Ed booth at Brick World Chicago. We're going to go ahead and get started in the front here with the Rebel Ed collab this year, which was a Star Wars zoo. The front section we have here is the parking lot built by Lego Spencer. Coming next to it, we have the front entranceway built by Daniel 501st Lego Trooper. And then moving along, we have a bunch of exhibits um, ranging from animal exhibits to a food court uh, to some amusement park rides. So the first one we see here uh, is a dewback exhibit and some crystal foxes, um, one on either side. And this was built by Finn, Mr. Mock Productions on YouTube. And then coming along here, we have a food court built by Drew, aka Packer2201. See a Hutt's Pizza, uh, it's a frappe, Akbar. and then you have Chewbacca selling some pork meat there. Also, along the outer edge, we have a monorail that can go back and forth. Our next exhibit here was built by Elijah, and this uh, half of it is Hoth, and the other half of it is a Rancor pit. The exhibit after that is the Bantha ride. You can see, you can go ahead and up there and sit on top of the Bantha. This was built by John. And then next up, we have an amusement park ride here. This is an X-Wing ride. So this amusement park ride does spin. It also features a bunch of lights. You can see the hangers all around and the X-Wings in the middle. Our second to last exhibit here was built by Bryce, and this is modeled after Geonosis. You can see some animals from the arena um, throughout the build. And then our final exhibit here was built by Anders. Half of it is Naboo for Gungans, and the other half, uh, it has a Lugabeast on it. Picking up from the collab pieces, we're going to move on to some individual mocks. This next one is built by Lee Brick Builder Studios. As you can see, it is a Fortnite scar with really well done Fortnite letters. Moving on, uh, the next mock is by WX Productions. This is a Yavin 4 uh, base. As you can see, it has some uh, modded X-Wings from Infinite Lego along with some really nice terrain. Uh, moving on, just some more builds from WX Productions. Some really, really nice vignettes they did, as well as another part to the Yavin 4 base. He's also got some really cool World War II vehicles. Moving on, we have some tri droids built by Matt Bricktail Studios. Um, as you can see, he's got two of them along with some Hailfire droids all much larger than the actual sets. They're very nicely done. He also has some AT-XT walkers, as you can see, along with the Republic AT-AT walker, which I believe is modded from someone else's design, as well as that ginormous clone turbo tank, which is also heavily modded. Moving on, we have some more locks by Lee Brickbuilder Studios. He has some P08 Lugers from what I believe is World War II. He's also got some nice looking vignettes over here. Along with what got blown up in the mail, his large bead mock, which ended up having to be downsized by a lot, but nonetheless, it was super cool when it was all together. The next builder is Hydrave. As you can see, he made some nice mini mocks, and as well as this really fantastic Utapau build. Lots of great detail, very well done by Hydra of Jack. He also has this Mustafar build, very nicely done, lots of good rock work, lots of improvement by him. Next up is Radical Bricks' Endor build. Uh, this one features a large satellite dish as well as the shuttle Tiderium, I believe, and some nicely done trees as well as some fantastic terrain. Next up is another vignette by Nicholas Radical Bricks, who built the indoor build, as well as a nice bay wing over there. Over here we have some mocks by D. Tenaglia Studios and Dan. He built this really nice Nebulon B frigate, 
as well as the blockade runner. Some, I, I'm not exactly sure. And then he modded um, some Force Awakens sets to build that. Next up, we have a mock by Lego Gavin Productions. As you can see, this one is pretty large. Lots of terrain, lots of cool cat figures and everything. I know he's been working on this for a very long time, but he did a nice job on it. Next up, we have a mock by Peyton, or Lieutenant Curious. Um, really nicely done. Uh, terrain looks very nice. The next mock is this large Jesus mosaic built by the one and only Lego Buff Productions, Danny. This was at Brickworld last year, and it is displayed at his school year-round. Coming up, we have a mock made by someone who we have never met before. This is Jack. He came this year and he made a really nice Hoth build. As you can see, moving on, we have some mocks by Andreas, also known as Chicago Bricks. Some nice islands, as well as an Endor build. Continuing, we have some other builds made by John, uh, J underscore the doctor. As you can see, he has an Ordo Plutonia base up there, as well as some smaller Umbara and Crate mocks. And then he has the large battle on Kashyyyk build that he made. Very nicely done, especially for a younger builder like himself. Then we have the LSW Commando Productions, the one and only Gabe some of the greatest builds at Brickworld. Definitely should have won an award this year, but, you know, bias. As you can see, he built a nice Umbara, lots of cool custom vehicles. He did a very nice job on this. Comparatively to last year, he's improved a ton. Now coming over to the other half of the table, we have some custom, completely custom World War II American and German vehicles and artillery items. These were built by Aiden. And then moving down the line, we have some builds by Elliot. Elliot, would you like to offer some words of wisdom about your mock? This is my mock. I built it. Thank you, Elliot. I didn't build it from a kid. Cool. And then coming down, we have a Geonosis mock here by Tyler, aka Life Brick Studios on YouTube and Instagram. And then we have an Alderon waterfall also built by Tyler. And we have a few smaller builds over here by Lucas, aka the Brick Duke. And then here we have a War of the Rings mock by Peter, aka uh, Lego Spartan Productions. We also have a massive feed mock, also built by Peter. This is modeled after the Battlefront 2 map uh, in the video game. And over here we have this massive Battle of Crate mock built by Matt the Brickwiz. This was nominated for Best Individual Layout at Brickwood Chicago. And then over here, we have a few small mocks by Nate, Drew's brother, and then another mock by Lucas. And then over here, we have two mocks, one built by Garrett, and this is the scene from the recent Solo movie. And then the 
the other one is this massive ATM6 built by J, aka Rich Boy J, on YouTube. We have a mini ATM6, also built by Lucas, yeah. sitting up there. Continuing, we have a DH17 Rebel Blaster build by Nick. Also, there's Nick Brick on all of his social medias. There's also some really nice builds by Packer221. Drew, as you can see, he brought his Kashyyyk mock from War66 collab along with some smaller builds. And then we have what was nominated and won the best youth creation at Brick World Chicago 2018 built by Mr. Mock Productions, Finn. He built this amazing Stranger Things build. As you can see, it has the normal world as well as the upside down under it with some really nicely done letters. It also includes lots of lights and it has a speaker to play uh, music. Built by Lego Paul, we have a heavily modded uh, hover tank as well as a, uh, as well as an occupation on Akiko. Continuing, uh, Drew has another mock. This is built for the Battlefront contest that Revlog hosted a few months back. This is an Imperial Hanger on Solus, very nicely done. Lego Spencer 11 built this fantastic Death Trooper helmet. Last year it was nominated for Best Replica. Unfortunately, it did not win. Up next, Daniel Barwegan made this fantastic tiny house based off the show on HGTV. That is on Lego Ideas. He also has some smaller alien mocks as well as a plethora of medieval builds. As you can see he has a small forest, a wizard's hut, a last of us build from the video game, and as well as his main build this year, his modern house. Daniel also built these fantastic mechs as well as a small alien starfighter. And then we have our Kingdoms at War collab. Unfortunately only three of the builds from the collab made it to Brickwell this year. This first one is made by Drew Packer221. As you can see, it's a small ambush on a, in a forest. Next up, built by Dr. Daniel Barwegan, is this small fort in the snow. As you can see, lots of cool figures. And finally, what is probably one of the greatest mocks in the whole collab, Anders built this fantastic Cliffside Guardians build. As you can see, it has a small castle as well as some really nice block work on it. And then to finish off the tour, we have some mocks built by me, Peach Bricks. Um, as you can see, I built an unfinished ship, um, some smaller vignettes, and then Lego Spencer 11, again, for the Battlefront contest, made this really nice end build. build. Alright, and that concludes this year's tour of Brick World Chicago 2018 at the Rebel Agreement. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to enter our solo contest that runs into July. And feel free to pick up a Rubble Lug t-shirt on our t-shirt website. You can see one that Elijah's wearing here. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.